Hello folks, uh, hope you're seeing me here. So the, well, the first bit of news I have for you is that I've got a gimbal. So hopefully the shaky camera thing will be a thing of the past. Now the bad news is that, yeah, the, it wants to point anywhere except where I want to point it. So I'm gonna, you know, it'll take a little bit of getting used to so let's go outside i'm going to show you uh what i've got going on today that it's this way not no 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 not that way this way this way damn you all right okay no down no down 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 left jesus how do people use these things all right so i'm probably going to film everything except oh no other way okay so what we really what we have our, for ourselves is our trusty Tesla um, I guess you could call it destination charger thingy no that way that way seriously okay as you can see the dip switch the number two dip switch is in the on position which if we go up here and if the gimbal will let me see it is the position is the position for um, Tesla mode only now damn flies no nope, wrong way down here we have some equipment and got here is my oscilloscope and I got some resistors diodes and a few clip leads here because what I've been trying to do has been to ascertain how exactly that friend Elon does the digital communications now what I also found out wrong way is that I had been charging my cars here with this dip switch in the wrong place so both the seriously both the <laughs> the Panzer and the land yard this will point anywhere but where I want it to point um, have been charging with this dip switch thingy in the wrong place so yeah how did that happen so all right let's go oh uh, let's go have a look I'll try not to complain about the get the gimbal so first things first if we connect up um, for straight into state C you know so as you would um, if your vehicle just had a diode and you know 880 something ohms between control pilot and ground then what happens is we look at our scope connect up here and we get pretty much nothing am I doing something ridiculously stupid of course I am uh, connecting the wrong wire that's why connecting this wire so let's connect that and you see we get a little burst and we don't get any PWM going on and if we go up here and the gimbal allows me gimbal upwards gimbal oh no wrong way um, we get to see that we get a red light on here and we don't get any charging so you would be intending to say oh no you know I need my digital comms so Gimbal back down. No, oh, gimbal left. Damn you. Oh no, gimbal lock. Ah, we're going to spin out. Okay, so back down. Now, if on the other hand we disconnect and we remove the second resistance so that we would have a state B, which is 2.7k, and we reconnect, we watch our oscilloscope screen. We PWM at 5%, which is requesting uh, digital comms. And then we will time out and go back to 12 volts DC. And then we go to PWM. If at this point we now connect our state C resistance, 
you hear a thump, our power comes on, and uh, oh, that way, Urgh. and Elon is giving us gas. So it looks as if this unit, anyway, if it doesn't, if it is in digital comms mode and it doesn't receive digital comms, will actually fall back and use um, the normal J1772 system. So there you go. And we can obviously disconnect and we shut down and we will be ready to go back through our procedure again. Now, I get the suspicion there will be a lot of editing in this particular episode. So much for my gimbal to make me more professional. I should have stayed amateur, shouldn't I? Amateur hour, Damien. Well, at least now you can say I have amateur hour. Wow, this is, yeah, this is serious amateur hour stuff now. Um, okay, so. Um, <laughs> Really? Let me just... Nope. 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 Maybe there's some calibration thing I'm supposed to do. Anyway, forget about all that, okay? Here's the thing I'm trying to get to, right? A Tesla charger board. I spent about an hour going through this, trying to find a single wire CAN transceiver. Guess what? There ain't one on here. But guess what there is? this little guy k2 now unlike the ma unlike the mountain this k2 is a relay and his job is to connect what would be the sixth pin along the bottom here with the tenth pin which is to connect the control pilot to the what they call the fc can on the tesla wiring diagram or fast charge can Mm, I thought, where does the fast charge can go? It goes to the BMS. So I thought, aha, the BMS. BMS board. The very first device that I looked for. Just this little guy here. Which is a U11. Guess what he is? He's not a gimbal. He is a single wire CAN transceiver, the NCV7356 to be precise. So, looks like friend Elon, um, when this thing sees 5% duty cycle on the pilot signal, it closes K2 relay which then puts the BMS in charge of our charging process, courtesy of U11, our trusty um, single wire can transceiver. So, interesting stuff, folks. So now what we got to figure out is how do we get this crap working on our logic board so gonna need to work out seriously gonna need to work out uh some kind of a plan for this uh it looks as if it's going the charging point wants the car to send a message to it which kind of makes sense i'm wondering if the i'm wondering if the superchargers do the same thing like if you put the diode on the 2k7 between control pilot and ground that they give you out a 5% duty which then tells this guy to close K2 which then puts the BMS in charge of the proceedings. Answers on a postcard please. Also yeah anyone that anyone that knows how to use a gimbal please tell me how until Looks like this particular brand of Tesla destination charger 
does actually work with the, the J1772 protocol even when it is in digital comms mode. So we are going to chase the camera around all day. Uh, then once we figure that part out, we're going to try to figure out how to initiate. Um, we're going to try to figure out how to initiate. Why do they keep turning? Come back. Back to me. There you go. Back this way. We're going to try to figure out how to initiate a single wire CAN communication with the destination charger. So, first look at it today to uh, figure out what's going on. So, if anyone has any ideas or information, uh, please do get in touch. Also, if you have any ideas about how to use a gimbal properly, also get in touch with me. So, I'll leave you guys there, literally. Um, and we will see you in the next episode don't forget to dislike unshare and don't subscribe check those links in the description for whatever i can think to put in there and until then happy avoiding gimbal lock